Is running a fixed-term membership site a good idea? Membership sites are often suggested as a way of creating an online income that's as close to passive as you're likely to get. They vary in type, but a method that's popular is fixed-term membership site. This has the advantage of bringing you an income for a set amount of time whilst reassuring customers that they're not locked into paying for life unless they remember to cancel. There are several very big plus points to running a fixed-term membership site. The first of these is that once it's created, you're not having to continually create new content for it. Apart from checking every now and then that the information is up to date and that none of the links are broken, it's as close to set it and forget it as you're likely to get. The next big advantage applies to both you and your customers know that the end is in sight that has two big advantages. The project isn't perceived as never ending your customers know up front how long they expect to be a member a lot of information is better when it's spread out. A 400 page book is thick and daunting but 40 weekly episodes each of 10 pages is perfectly manageable. Not to mention that the convenience of having the information drip fed usually carries a price premium. Once you know how long the site will take to deliver the information, you can decide how to charge for your membership site. Just because you're delivering the information over an extended period doesn't mean that you have to split the payments for IT.so. If you have a three-month fixed-term membership site, you could charge a monthly fee or you could charge a one-off fee. Or maybe both, with the one-off fee showing people a saving against the payment terms option, you will get people drop out partway through any membership site, even fixed-term ones. That's just a part of doing business, and you shouldn't take dropouts personally. There are all sorts of reasons why people stop paying for their memberships, that's why most gyms tend to have pages of small print in an attempt to dissuade people from leaving once they've got past the fitness bug they acquired in the first week or two of January. IT does mean that with this method, you'll need to have a regular stream of new members. That's the biggest trade-off with running a membership site that lasts for a fixed term. But you'd have to do that with a site that didn't have a predetermined life as not everyone will remain a member forever. So it's the same issue as with any other membership model. The other thing to consider is having somewhere for people to go once they've got all the way through the initial term. This can be a more exclusive, graduates-only club or it could be a different but related product area or a more advanced version of the program they've just completed. That gets the best of both worlds as it gives you a more regular income without having to spend all your time recruiting new members.